a week back, I made a theory about the Loki series, about how Deadpool, or at least in my theory, I think the villain or anti-hero, whatever phrasing you want to put for the miniseries coming up on Disney Plus Loki, I am proposing that Deadpool is the villain in that miniseries. But if you look back at the video, it's just, it, it's simply titled, Deadpool is the villain of Loki. Go check it out. And in that video, I mentioned how it, I had two options. Now my number one option is Deadpool. I think for sure it's going to be Deadpool only because of the TVA. Like my question is why are they appearing? Why now? Nothing in the past or the whole in Infinity Saga made them come in into the world or any, any event and intervene. So my point was that there's only one, at least in that example, I was saying Deadpool is the only one that fits it, not all the way. There is one more contender. It's the same thing that Deadpool, or I'm accusing Deadpool of doing without being so brazen. My whole purpose of that theory with Deadpool is how would Kevin Feige bring him in? And if he's going to bring him in in another miniseries, the only miniseries that I think it makes sense is the Loki uh, miniseries that's going to deal with time travel. I think that's the only way that it's going to be, it's viable, barring any crazy events that happen in WandaVision, the last two episodes, or some something I didn't see in the Falcon and Winter Soldier, even though I don't think that one's going to deal too much with, you know, time travel. It's going to be, I, I really don't know what that mini series is going to be about. So I'm excited to take a look at it. But in that video, I had said that there is another person that I have in mind. If it's not Deadpool as to why the time variant, the TVA, came in or has come in and the other person drum roll please or the other superhero that i think is the villain in loki would be steve rogers good old captain america and it's not a secret as to why i would include him as if not deadpool then the tva is here searching for captain america due to the fact that he went back and didn't didn't he apparently he placed the stones but used pimp particles to then head over to live his life and then we see him as an old man cap or the old man uh, captain america at the end of endgame so why would captain america be a fugitive from or why would the tva be looking for captain america for that exact same reason he messed with time. L remember what we know about Peggy. When after, you know, he went down and was frozen, she got a life. She had f kids. She had a husband. Her path was set, at least what normal. There was no disruption in time. The moment that Captain America decided to be, for better term, a dick and not pay attention, to what Banner was telling him that, hey, you can't go back, you can't mess up, you can't, you know, you, we, you have to go put back the stones to fix the timeline. But obviously he didn't do that. He didn't go back and set the stones in the correct order. Or even if he did, the fact that he went back and lived a life with Peggy, that means his her husband never married, those kids were never born, that alters stuff. That alters stuff in the future. So there is a timeline uh, issue there. And even if I take the most fan crazy theory about being two Captain Americas, that is a reason for him, for the, the, the TVA to get involved. Something went wrong. A timeline was changed. Someone that doesn't belong there, like I said, the same thing with Deadpool when he decided to time travel at the end of Deadpool 2. It's the same premise and it's the same problem. Yes, they're you know on Deadpool, like I said in the video, he's we have we have a good laugh. It's fun. We see him traveling and doing all these crazy stuff as he as he calls it, cleaning up the timeline. But he screwed it up more. 
Same thing with with Captain America. That line when he's talking to Falcon and saying, oh, you know, that life that I wanted to get me some of that, you know, saying about, you know, Tony and, 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 and filling out his whole with the woman of his dreams and, and living a life, uh, a full life, the way he deem, deemed fit. Now, uh, when we all saw the end game, we were like, oh, you know, that's so beautiful. All oh, his arch got finished. And then a few weeks later, after the emotions settled down, we started thinking clearly. And we started seeing and, and asking questions like, wait, how, how did this happen? How did he go back there and stay there you know obviously with the questions with the when he saw uh, red skull and and uh, when he went back to asgard and all these questions that remain to be answered and i hope and, and i hope we get answers to them here in the next few years but irrelevant the point being is that cap decided it by his own free will to go back and fuck up the timelines does Peggy Carter then go and I don't know if it was shield, but she, she, she helped, uh, set something up, but does she even do that? Does she become the spy that everyone knows? How many young women are no longer, or at least hypothetically anyways, are no longer going to have her as an inspiration as that woman to look up, up to because Captain America decided to go back and make her a housewife as opposed to to what she ended up doing which we saw in the Agent Carter what she did after what she dove herself into of or what she thought was the death or disappearance of Captain Captain Rogers or Captain America so again look at how much by his selfishness because he couldn't just you know well enough alone and and I, and I get the whole part throughout the whole end game about the moving on this is what he was talking about how oh i'm telling everybody to move on but not us he wasn't talking about the avengers he was talking about himself how he couldn't move on from missing peggy and then as soon as he goes back in time with tony to you know get the tesseract he sees her and that's the nail in the coffin he knows what he's gonna do at this point if he gets the opportunity i mean why is he the one going back why is cap the one that decides to 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 embark in this task as opposed to what thor as opposed to anyone else that that, that could have done it why he chose he he went out of his way to make sure that he was the one that was gonna go back and we even see it in bucky's face when he's saying oh they almost have like this like this hidden code where he knows he's not coming back he knows already what 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 captain america is gonna be so he deliberately like a villain went back and changed if not our universe, a universe. And that, again, is enough cause to bring in the TVA. So it's if, if it's not Deadpool, it's the, I don't have to go over through the whole theory again. Just listen to that theory about Deadpool and add Captain America. It's the same thing. It's going to be Cap because he broke, or if it's not Deadpool, it's it has to be Captain America because he is the only one besides Deadpool that both caused a huge problem in the cosmos they change timelines they change outcomes the, the again the butterfly effect the unforeseen effect of just what we consider a minor decision and in his mind he was doing it out of love right he was you know simping so hard that he said oh no 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 i i gotta go back with the girl the first girl that loved me and, and accepted me for me i gotta go for that one and again i get it you know the true love aspect of the whole story but he decided to go back and change that and again what happened if if it's the two caps in one universe there's a problem if it's only one cap that goes back and change the time that's a problem that brings on the tva which we're gonna find out if my number one contender is deadpool but either one it could be, it's De deadpool is 1a and 1b for for cap but those two events or that singularity of event that both are doing is enough to not only bring in the TVA, but also bring the next big bad in the Marvel franchise or whatever saga we are going to be in, because it awakens certain stuff. It 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 it, it, it reverberates throughout the cosmos, and we 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 saw that when we heard you know in Guardians of the Galaxy when in Guardians of the Galaxy two, when he's when his dad is telling him oh even through the 
through the depths of the cosmos, we heard about the man called Star-Lord that held an infinity stone in his hand. So obviously, gets around in the universe so why would it why wouldn't this be this be any different when all of a sudden in a universe the same universe an alternative universe dimension if whatever you want to call it when something is affected it brings other powers in whether it be galactus whether it be whatever bad you want to bring it in it's going to have these repercussions and we're going to have and actually, when you think about it, having Captain America as an evil Captain America or somehow a misunderstood anti-villain, anti-hero Captain America, don't be surprised if, it, again, if it's not Deadpool, if you see a Captain America cameo in, in Loki and also at the end of the Falcon and Winter Soldier series and obviously the plot line would then turn into, hey, we... Uh, uh, Loki is the, now helping the TVA to figure out this fugitive that broke time and oh twist in the middle of the season guess what it's Captain America as he's hopping around to bring these stones back to take these stones back into their proper he's somewhere in there he's fucking up the timelines he's not doing it correctly there's no way that he could he doesn't know when Thor took the hammer when you know Rocket took the the you know all these things that they were doing in these time heights there is no way that Captain America knew every one of these of these points so off bat that creates a big old problem. But anyways, that's just my theory. I wanted to put it out there because I already had put in the, the, the Deadpool one, uh, I think over a week ago. And I teased this, this one on that one. So I figured it was time, but let me know what you guys think. I think it's a very plausible second option if it's not Deadpool. The Deadpool one makes more, more sense to me as for what he did, but when you walk away from it a little bit and add Captain America and the events at the end of Endgame, hey, it's pretty neat the way it all comes together. And we all know that we're the rumors of, of Chris Evans signing to do a, a few, not a full on Captain America series, but to, uh, to, to push the story of Captain America along. And for Captain America, uh, people are already uh, thinking that Cap's gonna be evil. This will be a great way where you don't tarnish Cap because Cap is Cap, you know, Captain America is Captain America, but in a way where he gets misunderstood and then obviously Captain America is going to see them as, as, as the villains, but the, the you know, um, the TVA is going to look at Captain America as a villain and it's going to create this nice little story that Chris Evans, the actor is now being brought in to, you know, maybe look over. And obviously if it is true and he already signed, he already agreed to, and he's like, okay, cool. But it makes more sense. Why wait till Chris Evans is three to four years older, three to four years down the line? No, he's still in great shape. He looks good. The same thing with Robert Downey Jr. You can't wait three or four years as these actors get older and we start seeing noticeable changes. No, you bring them in here and I get it. There's a, the age and technology, but you want to keep that to a minimal. Why not bring them in and start involving them in, in, in smaller roles that are going to lead into something bigger? And I just think, again, for the Loki series, if it's not Deadpool, Captain America is a nice second. So I, I can't wait to see you guys' comments and see if you guys think I'm crazy or not. But let me know. With all that said, like always, that's a wrap.